trailer 413. You and I have got a date today in Arburg, and then we're going to take it to Toulon, and then we're going to take it to Winnipeg, and then we're going to take it back here. Four stops on our date today. Oh boy. It's going to be quite the Friday. Slowly hook on up. Come on. Come on. I was going to hook on to it uh, last, uh, yesterday afternoon. I think I told you guys I was going to. And I actually did. And then I realized that uh, the shop wanted to take another look at this truck. Or at least I thought they did. Uh, I thought they wanted to take a look at this. So I unhooked and I went and parked it in its spot so that the shop could easily grab it. They wouldn't have to detach it from the trailer first. Turns out they didn't need to see it after all. So I could have hooked up and gotten this already yesterday. I did check it all out yesterday, made sure everything was working, so it should be a little quicker. I just got to double check everything today and still do a thorough. You never know what happened. You never know what happened over the night, so we got to do a thorough pre-trip every day anyways, but it should all be working. Well, the parking lot is pretty full again today. You know, that must mean the weekend's coming. It's good to see drivers getting home for the weekend. Not everyone does, but... Uh, when they do try to schedule their home time, they, they try to schedule for the weekend. At least I used to always do that when I was on the road. I'd always want to be home for the weekend if possible, but you know, for the most part for me, I guess it didn't matter that much. But uh, most of these people here have families at home and they all want to see them when they come home. So the weekends, it fills up in here a little bit. Uh, dispatch does everything they can to get their drivers home when they need to be or see their families. So it's good to see the, the lot fill up on the weekends. It'll probably be a little bit fuller, even more full. Fuller? Is fuller a word? Even more full by the time uh, we get back later this afternoon. That's a good thing. So we're gonna arrive there in about eight to 10 minutes, right on time. I don't know if I've ever shared this with you guys, but my GPS tells me when sunrise and sunset will be so sunrise today is at 8 28 a.m and sunset is at 5 55 p.m it also keeps a tripometer uh, for how many kilometers or miles what your mileage is i have three different tripometers i got trip one which is my daily tripometer trip two which is my tripometer of when i started using karen in this truck and trip three is when I started using this uh, GPS all together when it was given to me. And I have put almost 230,000 kilometers on this GPS. That would be uh, probably about 150,000 miles. So I haven't had it for too long. I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook or not, but uh, about a month ago, I surpassed 1 million miles. So since I started here in 2011, I have driven over 1 million miles. That's miles, that's 1.6 million kilometers. It's a big achievement. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm happy to have finally made it there. I've joined the many other million milers we have and uh, you know I'm not getting as many miles now because I don't go as far but the next goal is two million miles we have uh, several drivers with us that have hit two million miles sort of like a milestone in your career it took me ten years to do one million miles another house Prime delivery, once again. Make your money go a long way. A lot of houses moving around up here lately. I guess that's good, eh? I guess that's good. I still can't get over that topic from yesterday, the remote control truck. And these pod drivers, pod operators, that's what they call it, right? I don't know if that's the future. 
because I don't want to be on the road myself. I don't want to be driving my pickup truck on the road beside a remote controlled truck that weighs 80,000 pounds that's being controlled by some pod operator in New York. I picked up an Arborg and Toulon. I've got to drop this Toulon right off at our warehouse in Winnipeg. It's going to stay inside in the warmth there. It's got to head out on the road, I think, in a couple of weeks. I don't know the whole story. I just know what I need to know. I need to bring it over there. I've got this guy behind me who keeps trying to pass me, but his truck is obviously governed at the same speed as mine. So he ends up just blocking the left lane for 10 miles, then giving up, going back behind me for a mile or two, and then pulling back out and blocking the left lane for another 10 miles. And you know, if he could go a little faster than me, if he could maybe do like 103 and I could only do 100, I would slow down and let him pass me, but I can obviously tell that he he's governed at the exact same speed. Some people just, I don't know, like to block the left lane. That's a habit we should all uh, make sure we don't get into. For you new drivers out there, sometimes it's better just to stay behind the guy if you can't get past him in less than 10 miles. But there's also a time when someone is trying to pass you and you know they're going a hair faster than you. Let off the fuel, let off the throttle, let him pass you, get back in the right lane, and then we can all continue on and they'll be out of your hair, right? Because they're going faster. The problem is when you do that and you're courteous and someone gets past you, gets in front of you, and then slows you down. That is the ultimate frustration. But good thing we don't gotta really worry about that around Winnipeg. There's not enough people out here for us to get that much traffic. And that's why we like it that way. We're a flyover province. And we really don't mind. I don't mind at all. Nobody packs their bags and says, hey, I'm going on vacation to Manitoba. I mean, sometimes it happens, but you know, they get really funny looks. They tell us, hey, I'm on vacation here in Winnipeg. And we look at them like, what? Why? We were born here. What's your excuse? Why are you here? What vacation? Not exactly a vacation hotspot, but there's a lot of money to be made here and that's why people are here. And people from here go elsewhere for vacation. Speaking of, seeing as the US border is now open for non-essential uh, travel, I wanna plan a, a vacation or something with Brit for the new year, like next year, spring sometime. We need to get out of here. We've been locked down in here for so long already. I wanna get out. I want to go explore, maybe go down to, I don't know, Arizona, Alabama. Maybe even California. I'll think about it. Probably Florida, though. We'd like to go to Disney World and Universal Studios. I'd love to go down to the Florida Keys, drive down there. Maybe we'll fly down there and then rent a car for a week or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I want to plan something for next year though. I need to get out of here. I want to go back to the US and just sit, relax for a week. Maybe we'll even go further. Maybe we'll go to, uh, that was a big barrel on the road there. Just hanging out. Looks like someone nailed it once already. It was all busted up. A water barrel or something. Weird. I was going to say maybe we'll go to uh, Mexico. I've never been out of Canada and the United States. That's the only two countries I've ever been in. But I've traveled them extensively. <laughs> I know them both like the back of my hand. But I feel it would be nice to go to Mexico once. Go to like Cancun or Puerto Vallarta, however you pronounce it. Like a touristy spot of Mexico. Gotta look into that.
house is in the Transcona east side of Winnipeg. So I'm just on the east side here, headed south. I'm going to turn westbound onto Dougald, or as Karen likes to pronounce it, Dougald. This will take me into Transcona. I've got to get a few pieces taken off there, put away all nice. back to the yard to see what else they have. Hopefully everybody stopped at the stop line. Fantastic. Gives me room to get around the corner. You're good, you don't have to move, you're good. You're okay. No, don't drive in front of the stop line. You made it worse, lady. They see you coming, so what do they do? They, they pull forward and to the side, right? So they think they're getting out of your way, but really they're pulling forward, getting more in your way. As long as you're behind the stop line, don't move. Just stay, stay. Unless if, unless if it's pretty obvious that we can't make the corner, then going backwards helps more than going forward. <laughs> Maybe I'm just picky. I don't know. I don't know. Can't read each other's minds, so they don't know what I'm doing. I'm headed right in here. I gotta take this a little bit wide. Excuse me. I drag my big butt around this curb. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, somewhere in here, I've got to leave some stuff. This guy's going to come flying past me. Oh no. Okay, he's going over there. Thought he was going to come flying past me here. I'm like, man, patience, buddy, patience. Wasn't the case, wasn't the case. Powered by Manitoba's renewable hydroelectricity. Oh, it's an electric bus. You know, that's one thing I'm kind of, you know, happy about with our province is our province is hydroelectric power. I believe almost 100%, if not 100%. Completely renewable, completely clean energy. And we sell that clean energy to Minnesota. And Ontario, I think, but definitely Minnesota. Now that we're back at the yard here, we have a couple of vehicles we're gonna try to fit in here yet. We've got this SUV and a very nice Denali GMC on the other side. Oh, that is a beautiful pickup truck. Look at this thing on the front. Look on the front here. It's got a camera on the front. Ha! Wonder where else they got cameras on this thing. So this is a Carbon Pro 6.2 liter Denali. That name there means don't touch. But I can look, right? I can look and I can dream. Just don't touch it. Not too sure where uh, where we're bringing this one, but uh, my compliments to the owner. That is beautiful. Oh, it's got that new car smell. 
I can smell it just standing here. Very nice. Look at this, it's got cameras under here too. Ha! Nice. Very nice, check out these rims. It's going south. This truck is not gonna see the winter, I don't think. I believe it's going to Florida, but uh, I'm not too sure, I won't be taking it. My compliments, very nice truck. Have a good trip, you beautiful machine, you. I wish I was taking you home. Have fun down south. So it's Friday again, is it? That means tomorrow I have to spend the whole day with my dad at home. Don't let this uh, guy tell you any different. I'm very excited. Can you tell? He's lying. I can tell when he's lying because his tail wags. How about you, Frank? No, no, mine doesn't work that way. I wag mine when I'm happy. I'm not a whiner. Hey guys, uh, it's me Chevy again. Uh, my dad told me that he he loaded up a very nice truck. Sort of like his, but better. Dad's got a nice truck. It must have been really nice. Yeah, they was some American engineering. That's my people, you know. That's where I come from. I'm American. Just so you know, I had to let you know. I'm, uh, I'm not one of these Canadian Canuck people up here. That is true, yes. From the, down there in the States, and he was imported. You could call him an import. <laughs> that is true. He is uh, imported from America. A wiener, you're also an import from Germany. Yes, I suppose you're right. So, yeah, Friday went really well. Just sort of running around uh, between my regular stops there. Uh, we touched on that topic from yesterday a little bit more. Uh, I just edited the video from yesterday too and I put all of it together. So I, I, it's all fresh in my mind now thinking of this remote control truck. I, blows my mind. I don't think it's going to work. I don't see how it could. How, and is that safe? Like what if you run someone over and it's like off camera somewhere and you don't realize it and you just drive away because you're, you're a pod operator somewhere downtown New York and you run over someone out in Iowa and you don't realize what if your truck gets stuck <laughs> so many questions but as you can see i got a whole bunch of laundry here on the couch beside me i've got to wash these couch covers uh, i'm a laundry man josh on the weekends this is saturday so i'm in the future i'm just putting these videos together for you guys so you have something to watch in the coming week hope you enjoyed it uh we loaded on those two vehicles i believe they're all going down to florida i don't know where their final destination is it's I don't need to know, so it's a need to know thing. We just do our job and we do it well, make sure that everything's taken care of. But man, I actually got to load that Denali myself. Uh, I got to uh, put it into the truck there. Uh, I have people guiding me in, making sure that everything is like centered and straight and make sure that nothing gets damaged, obviously, because that is the worst case scenario. Even a tiny little scratch, you don't want that. None of that, you want it to, you want it to come off the trailer and into the, the owner's possession flawlessly with absolutely no issues so that they come back and we want to haul their vehicle again because if we're bringing it down south for them most likely they're going to want to bring it home eventually right why drive it all the way home from florida no no give us a call call up dark hole this is a dark hole thing that uh, came along with them when we uh, merged with that company give them a call up we'll move your vehicles for you you don't have to drive it all the way down and for a lot of these snowbirds they're uh <sighs> They're going down there for an extended period of time, probably up to like six months. So why would you want to rent a car when you're down there for six months? That could get expensive, right? Just bring your own vehicle down there. And you're like, yeah, but I don't want to drive it all. That's like a three, three and a half day, four day drive from here. That wastes a lot of your vacation time. It takes a lot of energy. A lot of people can't sit in a vehicle for that long. I mean, driving is what I like to do. I would drive my vehicle down. But a lot of people aren't like that. Give us a call and we'll bring your vehicle down there for you. You're going to Phoenix? You're going to Arizona? We go there too. You just, where else are you going? Where, where's your winter home? Where do you go for the winter? You want to have your own vehicle there? We'll get it down there for you. Head on over here. You guys want to help me edit this video yet? No? No one? Everyone's so lazy! As I look at my house, that's just 
<laughs> as I look at everything's just a mess all over. It is my laundry day. Saturday's my day when I catch up with all my video work. When I catch up with laundry, I've got to get that bedding all washed. Bird is at work on the weekends, so our days off don't line up. We both work a lot. And uh, we don't get a lot of days off together very often. But next weekend, we get the whole weekend off together with no plans yet. So I'm trying to think of something really fun that we can do. There's this Brazilian restaurant in downtown Winnipeg on Waterfront, I believe. Uh, I want to see if I can get some reservations there or something. I've already talked to her about it. Otherwise, I wouldn't put it in the vlog because that would spoil the surprise. We'll think of something. We were going to go to uh, Thermia. It's like a, a spa in Winnipeg, but apparently... Uh, they have limited things that they can do now because of the pandemic. So once again, we got to wait for this pandemic to go away so that all of our things to do can resume like normal. Hopefully it'll, hopefully we're uh, pointed or hopefully we're pointed in that direction. We'll see. We're going to think of something. We don't get days off together that often, so we're going we're to make it special. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I really do. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, we make videos every day. I also have different content on here. Uh, dog vlogs. You can find them in playlists on my channel. Uh, I also have a gaming channel. All the links to everything is down below in the description of all my videos. And I'll see you down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Say hi. It'd be great to get to know you a little bit.